for Morocco. Guys, I'm looking at social media at the moment and bear in mind, there are also 10 men Morocco because at the end there, we thought, okay, perhaps the final few minutes of the game might give Portugal a bit of a chance, a bit of a confidence as well. They held on, they held through. Tweets here online are saying, incredible scenes, Morocco are into the semi-finals. And I love this one. Morocco is the definition of nothing is impossible. Mm, yeah, no, it's great. <clears throat> I, I would like to think that this kind of situation is great for football because it gives anyone all over the world that feeling that why not you know, me or why not my country or why not us. It's something that you, you cannot go into a tournament thinking, oh, we're going and we're going to come back in three, after three games. Now, remember, sometimes you get lucky in a draw, sometimes you get lucky in a crossover, you know, you don't play the top team because they lose the top yeah. spot. And you're... Now, the luck they of the play, draw, yeah. They play Croatia, Belgium, Canada, Spain and Portugal. Mm -hmm. And they conceded one goal. Yeah. If you say that before the tournament, nobody will believe you. You say that you are out of this world because that is not going to be possible. There is no a team that they're going to be able to do that after five games. So they earn this place. It's not like they were lucky. They were not lucky. Okay, so today was a different game. They had a plan. It worked very well the first 45 minutes. And then this team showed today that when they have something to hold, they are unbelievable. <laughs> they are absolutely fantastic. They give practically no chances to, to Portugal, which is a big task. Let's, let's bear in mind as well the manager here today in Walid Ragagui. He only came into this job, Martin, mm. in August this year. It didn't give him a lot of time to work with his players. No, absolutely not. But what he did, he, he rejuvenated. He rejuvenated the players. He rejuvenated, well, you, you're, you're talking about Zayic. He definitely rejuvenated, and, and he's a, he, on his day, is a super footballer as well, yeah. too. Club form not so great, but he's brought the best out of Ziyech. Yeah. Absolutely. He has absolutely done that. He's pulled that team together. He's shown them a spirit and a determination that is just, it is, it is you're finding Adjectives hard to describe how just how brilliant this performance was. It was fantastic. Backs against the wall, determination. It, the, when the ball was coming into the penalty box in the last 10 minutes, the headers, you just knew that a Moroccan defender was going to get his head on the ball again. It was n just never say die spirit. I've, I've not seen that there in a, in, a, in a group of players for a long, long time. Gus has just made the point. You, you, they, they've conceded a goal in this competition. No they opposition were, player has scored against them because that was an own goal. Oh, as well, well, okay, yeah. all right, but it's yeah, But you know, and and you think to yourself, how are they going to how are they going to find a way? I thought today, I, I honestly thought the decimation of the back four, two of the team going out, might might disrupt them. Disrupt them. Heaven say what they did is pull themselves in together yeah. again. We are just going to be even doubly determined to, to get this result. And Portugal could have played they could have played for another three hours and wouldn't didn't look as if they were going to break them down.